Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Aussie Fish Keeping. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at five tips that can help you grow your aquarium plants a lot faster. So obviously, if you do have an aquarium, you're probably gonna want some aquarium plants in there. They're super beneficial and they look super cool. And a lot of the time, if you keep them in the right conditions, you will find that they grow and thrive in your aquarium. However, sometimes you may just find for whatever reason, you have one particular plant or a few plants that just aren't growing as fast as you like them to. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about five things you can do to help promote more growth in your aquarium plants. But without any further ado, let's just jump straight into the first tip on our list. So one of the first things you're gonna need to have if you wanna successfully grow aquarium plants is adequate lighting. So obviously light is super vital to a plant's photosynthesis, which is how they just develop and grow. So the first thing you're gonna need to figure out is whether your aquarium plant is a highlight plant or a low lighting plant. So some plants like Bulbitis are really low light plants. They don't like too much light and they prefer just a lower light intensity in the tank. And then there's obviously other plants like a lot of stem plants, which can do well in moderate to high lighting. And then obviously all of your red plants like Ludwigias and Hygrophilas or Hygrophilas, however you want to say that, they're usually highlight plants, which prefer super high light. So once you do get an aquarium plant, you are going to want to identify whether it's a low light, moderate light or high light plant. So once you know whether your plants are low, moderate or high light plant, you are going to want to come up with a light cycle to suit that plant. So maintaining a proper lighting cycle can be super tricky just because you don't want to have too little of a light cycle and you don't want to have like too much of a light cycle if that makes sense so my light cycle is i'd say about eight to ten hours it really does just differentiate because i actually switch the lights off like manually i don't have timers on any of my tanks but obviously timers are a lot easier so if you want to use those that's perfectly fine but obviously you can just switch the lights off manually as well so my lights like i said are around eight to ten hours which is pretty much what you're gonna wanna have them on for. Obviously you can go a little bit more, say eight to 12, but anything over that and you're gonna start to see problems. And same goes for anything under that, you're probably gonna see a lot of problems there as well. So if you're not providing your plants enough light or your light's not on for long enough, you will notice that they either drop their leaves and shoot up to the top of your aquarium or they'll just grow completely different leaves that are a lot broader and that's obviously just because they're trying to absorb more light. And you're basically just gonna end up with these really skinny little plants that are coming out of the top of your water. It's really not like appealing whatsoever. And if you have too much lighting or your light is on for too long, you will notice a bunch of algae starts to bloom and that can smother your plants, which can just kill them. And it can also melt your plants if it's on for too long. So you may notice some of their leaves starting to wilt up or just die off. But yeah, understanding lighting and having an adequate light cycle is definitely a super important thing if you want to be growing your aquarium plants fast. So moving on to the next tip on our list, we've got regular trimming and pruning. So pruning your plants is actually going to encourage all sorts of branching and denser growth. And it's just going to make your aquarium plants grow a lot faster. Obviously, you're going to want to prune off any of like the dead stuff like dead leaves and stuff like that but you can also prune off like completely healthy stuff and that will still promote more growth and another reason you're going to want to prune your plants is because if they are becoming super bushy or expanding out super far that can actually shade a lot of the other plants in your aquarium so that's actually gonna prevent them from getting any light and that's obviously just gonna kill your other plants and you're just gonna be left with this one bushy plant. So one of the bonuses from trimming is actually if you do have stem plants like Ludwigia or Elodia or Hygrophila, all that sort of stuff, you can actually keep those trimmings. You can grow them immersed in like an immersed tub which you basically just get like a tub throw your trimmings in there with some dirt and keep it nice and moist and the aquarium plants will grow. Or you can just push them straight back down into your substrate and they will grow from there as well. But yeah, regularly pruning and trimming is definitely another super important thing to be doing if you want fast growth in your aquarium plants. Moving on to our next tip, it's keeping your plants in an aquarium with nutrient-rich substrate. So obviously plants do need nutrients to grow and having them in a nutrient-rich substrate or just supplementing the substrate with like root tabs or fertilizers is basically just gonna provide all sorts of nutrients like nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium directly to your plant's roots. 
And this is obviously just gonna encourage strong root development and overall plant growth. So there's not really much else to say on that topic. I think it's like a pretty brief topic. Just make sure you provide plenty of nutrients to your plants and they should just thrive in your aquarium. So onto our next tip on our list, we have maintaining stable water parameters. So you should just consistently monitor and maintain appropriate water parameters like your temperature and pH and hardness and stuff like that. Just because aquarium plants can be fickle at times and they can react super badly if you have large fluctuations in any of those water parameters. So most aquarium plants thrive in slightly acidic to neutral water. So anything from about like 6.5 to 7.5 pH and they usually like moderate hardness as well as just tropical water temperatures. So anywhere between I'd say about 18 to 26 degrees Celsius. And as long as you have your water parameters somewhere in this range, you should find that your aquarium plants thrive. Otherwise, if you do have large fluctuations, like I said before, your aquarium plants can react to that and they can either just start dropping leaves or just start shriveling up and dying. But yeah, maintaining stable water parameters is definitely another super important factor when it comes to growing your aquarium plants fast. And then moving on to the last tip on our list, this one sort of goes hand in hand with the nutrient rich substrate, but we've got using fertilizers. So using liquid or substrate fertilizers that you can either add to your water column or directly next to your plant's roots that contain all sorts of micronutrients and trace elements are super beneficial for your plant's growth. So this makes it a lot easier for your plants to access these nutrients. Obviously there's gonna be nutrients in your water, but providing extra nutrients like the root tabs or the liquid fertilizer does just make it a lot easier for your plants to suck up those nutrients and use them. And if you have more nutrients for your plants, they're gonna do that process a lot faster and they're actually going to grow a lot quicker then. But yeah, using fertilizers is definitely another super important thing to do if you wanna grow aquarium plants fast. So that is actually gonna bring us to the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope this helped you guys learn a thing or two about growing aquarium plants a lot faster. So obviously this video was a little bit shorter than my other videos. I'm trying to make as many videos as I can at the moment. But yeah, with that being said, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to go down and subscribe. And while you're down there, smash the like button and comment your thoughts on today's video. I always love going down there and reading them all and I'll reply back to every comment I get. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in that next video.